Ladies and gentlemen, my farmer's just eating lunch in this giant... Is this an apartment building? It's got to be more than one person that lives here. Maybe, unless it's just a really big house for Swiss people. But it seems like it's like a multi-family unit, doesn't it? Like, we've got room for a bunch of bicycles and... But maybe not. Maybe it's just one person's house. I don't know. It's, it's an awfully square big house. Uh, all right, so we have finished up our work with the cows. They're all fed and um, watered. So they're happy. They have straw. You can see here they're out eating. So they're happy. And we're going to run down and get started on our field. Um, first thing we need to do is run to the shop because we're going to get the bag of lift. Another mod I've never used before. We'll see how it works. So we're going to run to the shop here. Stuttery frame rates due to overheating. The Linder IBC. Now I wonder if I put something on the front if it'll tell me something's on the front. Bump. shop is. I always get lost. Yeah, to the right. Such a pretty little town. And there's the shop. We might, I think I'm going to sell that back. Since we're doing bales, I don't know that we're ever going to use a loading wagon for anything. That would be great if we weren't using bales, but we are using bales, so we're not going to use this. I'm just going to, for now recover the money from it. That's kind of sad. I'll probably lose about two or three thousand dollars, but what can you do? Sat out on the lot for a week now. Just not going not to use it. All right, so uh, actually we've only been here for a day. <sighs> Let's go ahead and sell that. Yeah, I only lost not even a thousand dollars, so that's not too bad. Um, Let's go ahead and get, we need to get the, and I don't know where this would fall under I've never done it before. Misc. Let me. F there it is. Okay. Big bag lifter. Lizard universal bag lifter. Front loaders and telehandlers. Okay. So we need this one. No. Orange lizard. Okay, and then we need to get, um, I think this will work, let's see what, how we do this, that's not how we do it, we don't do it by turning the, track, the tractor off, so we do this, and dump that, <laughs> alright, and my goal I think is to go here, yeah, we'll go back into there, and then we're going to buy need we need big bags big bag see that holds 2,000 how much does one of the regular ones hold so this is like buying two of them are they more expensive 1920 no okay maybe hang on seed 900 1800 No, so it's just literally double. <laughs> you don't really save any freaking money. Uh, all right, but we'll... Genetics. I want a bag of seed, and I want a bag of fertilizer. Now, I'm going to have to, at some point... I hate to do this, but I know you're going to poo-poo this, but we need to cheat in a uh, a forklift for the shop. because, And I always do that because you need to be able to load stuff onto If you're going to do this method, 
The shop needs to have its own forklift. You shouldn't have to pay for a forklift. So, can I lift this? How does this work? I need to go to this higher. That's as high as it goes. That'll work, but wow, just. No, I don't really want to dump the seed. Oh, save biscuit. That's not. Oh, for which button is it to un unzip the back? It won't do it now because there's. Can I dump this? How do I dump the back? Oh no! I've forever blown the whole thing up. Fasten on fast and toggle steering mode. What? Bug. Okay. Yeah, interesting. Well, at least we found that out, right? My little method here of I forgot about that whole thing. Uh how are we gonna do to fix that? Uh, I think we'll go see if I can reset it and make it go back to There, reset the platform. Is it empty? It probably won't be with because people complained about stuff being. No, it is okay. Okay, so let's try this then. Um, oh, that extends. That's good. That's good news. Okay, so I want to. Get this though. Try that. Okay, that will hopefully keep it from trying to fill up. Try this again. All right, so we're gonna raise this. You raise it up and stick it out real far. Nope. Keep it close. You have to. Perfect. That's what we wanted. We wanted to not. Um, yeah. I can do this. I'm really good at it. No. <laughs> I want to detach. Okay. No. 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 Oh, God. I want to drop what I'm holding. Is that that? Oh, for crying. Okay. This is turn pear shaped. Well, the next time I do this, it will not be so bad. I just I'm having to learn how to do this, so it's all new for me. Okay. There we go. Now detach has become available. No. <laughs> you son of a... How do I let it go? I want to let it go. I don't want to hold the bag anymore. I want to drop the bag. Oh my god. Is it that? Okay. All right. Sorry, guys. That it just takes a little figuring out. You know, it's not ro it's not rocket science, but it also it's the first time I've ever done it, so it's pretty embarrassing. Right. 
Also, these bags are heavier than my truck can really carry. It's embarrassing, too. Let's lift that up. There we go. I thought this would be a lot easier than it is. In the future, it might be better just to buy big bags. There we go. Or to buy uh, the regular size bags. Alright, and then we're going to hop over here. Can I fasten these on? Uh, no, they don't fasten. Oh boy. This is going to be interesting. So I think what I'm going to have to do is put the trailer on. And if I do this, they should stay. Yep. Okay, good. Can you see okay to drive? Yeah, it's not bad. What a nightmare that was. Okay, well, cool ideas often. What I, sh eh, I can't do that. I can do that. Next time what I'll do is I'll, I'm going to actually think, no, I can't do it because it stays on the back. I was going to say, I was going to put the bag lifter on the back, but you can't do that because the, my three-point hitch with this truck goes with the back, not the truck. So. Oh well, now we're off to our field, so everything is good. Everything's awesome. I do like the way that, I don't know if you notice on the Lind track, uh, the Lindner IBC up on the front there, it shows that there's a check mark for both units. Now, if I take the bag lifter off, it'll go to a red uh, question mark, which I like. It actually detects that you have things attached to the truck. There's nothing attached to that, it's both red. They're green right now because. I love this truck. I've always loved the little like Euro truck things that they have, though. I don't know if you ever seen. You guys remember? Uh, hopefully, you haven't watched Trailer Park Boys, but if you have, do you, I don't know if you guys remember when Bubbles gets his truck. He's got that little, like that little white. Uh, it's an Suzu, I think. But it might be a Mitsubishi. It's one of those little Japanese key trucks, like it's. It's literally like the size of like a bicycle, but it's a full-on truck. Now, I actually saw somebody when I was in, on Kelly's Island. Somebody was up there, and they owned one of those. They were they were uh, driving it around, going to the beach. I was like, oh, my gosh, it's one of those trucks. But it's like, I'm like bubbles with the truck. I'm like, when he first saw it, he was like, oh, I've got to have that truck. <laughs> and so because the guys had screwed him over so many times, they bought him the truck. <laughs> Like, hey, we'll get that for you, Bubbles. You know, you put up with our crap so much. All right, so here we are. This is a terrible idea, these big bags, but I wanted to try it. I thought it would go a lot smoother than it did. Man, it was a, a real disaster. Um, all right, so how do we do this? We'll just actually... I think this might be a little too big for this tractor. What do you guys think? Too big or not too big? It's 
a little too big. What are you gonna do? No. And uh now this we're going to put let's see, I need to put in the back. Yep, there we go. That way it's not they're not gonna unload into the thing. Put this on the back of this tractor. For weight distribution purposes only. once we're done seeding, we're going to fertilize. Now, I will need to run the sprayer. We'll have to come back later with spray containers. Come on. Oh, God. Raise it. Well, that part worked well, at least. I'm happy with that. Oh, it used the whole bag. What? I'm shocked. I thought it would only take part of it, but... Stop driving away! <laughs> it's all backwards. What's going on? All right, so we're going to put this down. And I'll grab that bag of fertilizer. And we're going to put this in storage here. Actually, I'll fill the fertilizer up first while I'm here. Bonk. Yeah, knew that was going to happen. Nope. Go up. Up. What? Oh. It'll go out and in, but it won't go up and down. Weird. Okay. <laughs> Fill it up. <laughs> Stop it. Oh, my God. Shoot me now. Convertland is full. <laughs> uh, things never they're never they're never working as advertised. Still a pretty neat system, but I've always wanted to try the bag. Everyone's like, you should use the bag lifter. I'm like, alright, I'll try it. Eh, it works okay. I like the idea really a lot, actually. But in practice it's a little rough. Set the back of the down now. Okay, so we can put this down. Actually, yeah. yeah. And we're gonna actually run this guy after this. So we're gonna put this on here. Hold on a second, folks. All right, had a phone call. Sorry about that, folks. Uh, let's go ahead and get this tractor started. We should have enough seed. We're going to plant oats. Oat, 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 oat. I can't see. The grass is too bright. Probably oats. There we go. I'll raise this up and close that. Got nice flat ground that we're working with, so we should be fine.
oh wow, this track just like pushed to the limits. But oats it is. Now this uh, this tractor uh, will cultivate while it's seeding. So, or this uh, not tractor, but the the Cavernland seeder. That's one of the reasons why I picked it because we don't have to have a cultivator. Uh, we, I think we still have a plow up the farm though, but. I never use the, what do they call it, the, I'm trying to figure out how to, you know, yeah, that's those. We could try using these if you guys want to see how they work. I know sometimes people ask me, like, how do those things work? What are they for? So since we're kind of doing a let's play, um, we'll, we'll, I'll show you how to do that. I'm assuming that you know what for. Basically, you want to run as straight a line as possible with your first line, and you're going to put these down on the side that's not being, that's not seated yet. If you put it down on the side that's seated, it'll plow it up. But what it does is, I have a dog for it in the background, okay. Probably on the clean clothes. Bunny? What was that sound? Was that you stretching? <laughs> it was my wife farting. I thought a dog was throwing up, but my wife was farting. So you can see here, this makes a line on there uh, on the side of the tractor to the right. Now, if you follow that line coming back down the field and you put the other you know, one down with the nose of the tractor, you'll have a nice, you'll make sure that you seed every inch of the field. That's how those, those markers work. It is called GPS from like the 1940s. That's what that is. Put that one down now. Lift that up. Lift it up first before you put it down because otherwise you'll plow it. So now if I come down here and ride along this line, put that right on the nose of the tractor, we'll have seated a complete line. And that's what we want. So we're going to run down the field here like this. We've had fun with our big bag shenanigans. So that was the big bag mod that you saw. Uh, and I don't, like I said, I'm not sold. Anyway, keep your nose on the line. It's, I almost never use these field markers because I just do it by hand. Like I watch where I'm going the outside of the tractor but in real life it's a lot harder to do so this allows a farmer to know that he's right on track by following the ridge and it gets off track a little bit here but. and there we go there's the other one I would say the cedar is like one step too big for this tractor. This tractor is really meant for more of like that Amazon style cedar. This is a cultivator and a cedar in one, but we're doing it. It's got the horsepower to do it. Actually, it's a little short on horsepower even because I think this is a 130 requirement. We're running about 105. So we are over horsepower in the tractor too. It's really, our Lindner should be the one that we're doing it with, but I need the Lindner up on the other farm. So at some point, But that'll be in the future because we can't afford a farm tractor right now. So. Once again, just enjoying the beautiful map, being in the great outdoors. Ta -da. And so that's how the ridge markers work. I'm going to go ahead and work on this field. And I will see you guys in just a few moments. A brief timeout here, and we'll be back. 
So I am rethinking things right now. This tractor really is too small for this. I think uh, tractor speed. I don't want to trade it in because I'm. It's a family heirloom, so we're gonna keep it. I'm gonna have to take out a loan. We need a bigger tractor. We really need one field work tractor. Unfortunately, we've spent all of our money on other fun stuff. Um, so the beer stays. I, I can't sell it. It's like my grandfather bought this tractor. Well, we're gonna keep it, but we need to take out a loan. <laughs> so once again, Arthur runs his farm into bankruptcy. <laughs> from the first day. <laughs> uh, I've heard here we have up to $8,000, $800,000 in credit limit. So um, I don't I don't think we should go big, but I don't know. I think maybe we should go a little bigger. <coughs> so I'll figure something out. We're going to go to the bank. Go stop at the dealership. But we're not going to trade the beer in. It's just going to go back up to the farm. We'll grab it as we need it. Um, I just can't bring myself to sell this old tractor. I've made a mistake. I've learned that this is the longest way possible to get to the shop. You really need to go the other way. Now I've heard tell that my uh, got a friend who wants to move here. Her name's Simone, and she's really cute. I'd like to marry her eventually, but she's going to move here, and uh, I'm going to help her get her farm set up. Anything that she needs to borrow, I'll let her borrow. Anything she needs help, I'll help her. It is going to rain later today, too, it looks like, so we're going to have to uh, get moving on getting this field planted. But we need a tractor that can actually handle that cedar. I just don't want to break this tractor, and I'm thinking maybe we'll buy another field, too, because we need to get some production going here, make some, making some money from crops. Because we're not making anything right now. I just went the wrong way. Good thing it's a tractor, and it can just drive right over the lawn. Nobody cares. So we shall go into the showroom and see what's available. And so we are told that the rigid track tractors are available here in shop. That's going to be this guy right here is probably the one that we need to look at. It's really not that pricey, though. How much? Wow. <laughs> this is available with 150 horsepower. It's going to have to match the farm colors. So it adds a little bit of a price to it. But um, this would be a good tractor for us. In the future, if we get more mowers, bigger mowers, this will be a good fit. And so we're looking at 117,000. Um, probably go with some Michelin tires on that. Standard would be fine. Oh, and it could do front loader, sure. Why not? Fifteen hundred bucks. So I think uh, it's a six thousand dollar lease. I think we're just gonna buy it, but I'll be right back. So I'm gonna look at my finances and we'll go to the bank over here and talk to the financier. Um, where is the bank? Oh, it's less chocolate to you. So I'm going to run over to the bank. I'll be back in a second. Oh, I found the bank. <laughs> I knew there was going to be one in town. I don't know why they don't have it marked on the map, but here's the ATM machine. FSQ Bank. All right, so we're going to go here and borrow a bunch of money. Uh, 
probably was it 106 so by 120. Do I want to look at a new field? That's the other question too. Um, should we should we expand out a little bit and buy five? How much is five? How much is this? 172. Wow, these are the same price. I mean, five looks like it's got more. Five is right next door to us, so we'll buy five, and so we'll go. That's two hundred thousand we need. Wait a minute, paper fields. I wanted to buy, aren't they? No, they're the ones right next to my field. That's the one I told you. And already the fight begins. So basically, three hundred thousand and three hundred twenty thousand dollars is what we're gonna loan out, and we'll pay back whatever's left over. So. Ridiculous, I know, but no. Se uh, seven is the f or five and seven are the fields that I told you I was going to buy, and the ones across the street. You're buying twenty four, twenty five, and twenty three. I think is what you said you wanted to buy. Unless you're changing your mind on me. Oh, there's an ATM right there. Uh -huh. <laughs> Stupid. So I'm gonna take this tractor home and we'll run we'll walk back to the shop or drive back or whatever. That's another dealership right there, huh? What's, again? What's funny is you never see a car dealership in this game. One thing I've never seen before is a car dealership. That must be the sawmill right there. Like I said, we could probably get twenty or thirty thousand dollars out of this tractor, but I don't want to. I don't want to sell it. We could definitely use it here to do field work and stuff like that. To help us collect bales and that kind of stuff. Okay, so I'm going to have to walk down to the shop. I'll see you guys in a sec. So we now have like 47 tractors in our operation. This is the tractor that I wanted. Uh, 150 horsepower. It's the largest tractor available here uh, at this dealership. Uh, they do other ones that we can order, but this one's the only one that's like they sell on a regular basis. It does have nice features like all wheel steering, and it is a fully articulated tractor, which means it can handle mountainous terrain if need be. And we definitely will be probably using it, probably definitely, uh, as a mower um, when it comes time. Probably I went the complete wrong way, but that's okay. All right, guys, so I'm going to head back to the farming area, and I will see you when I get there. All right, so we've arrived back at our location. <laughs> and we are going to continue to seed this field. That looks better. This tractor is definitely more suited to the cedar. Oh, yeah, look at the speed that we're seeding at. 15 kilometers an hour instead of, like, 7. And we're going to hire a worker for that. Go on there, bub. Because we're going to look at buying the field next door. What do we got here? It's got a full thing of canola, so that'll bring in some decent money. So we could use this as a, we could use the field on the left as a, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, not a bumper. As a weirdo? Yeah. We could use the field on the left as a weirdo. Uh, we could use this as our straw field over here, and then we can use this as our bumper crop to bring in money. So canola, soybean. Maybe even sunflower. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that. Uh, I'm going to go and go into the bank. 
and take a look here what we got. Um, so once again, one. Yes. Yanni? Can I just ask you a quick question? Sure. Right. Forgive me for being a little bit cynical. Yes. How am I supposed to order dinner when I don't know what you want? What do you? T <laughs> Hold on a second, folks. <laughs> All right. So we have. That looks good, and we're gonna go ahead and buy that. Boom. And so, how much do we have left? Ninety-nine. So we're gonna go into. Our, we're gonna back. We're gonna return some of the money to the bank because I don't want. We need to repay this loan as quickly as possible. So that'll be good. Um, and some of that we'll get back from this crop that's already growing on here. It's already fertilized, too, so we don't have to do any fertilization to that. But I do need fertilization. So what we're going to do is we're going to do this. Um, We need to buy fertilizer and herbicide for our sprayer. So we'll let him do his work, and I'm going to run to the shop. And meet myself with my tractor. I really wish this could pull that little trailer. I'm kind of bummed that that didn't work out, because... That would be immensely helpful. Now, we might be able to try one of the trailers that does bail, like that can, like a tipper that can also be selected for bailing. <sighs> I don't know. Keep buying all these trailers. That one will be good to move our mower around, though, but... Don't turn there. My tempt I'm always tempted to turn there. Now you'll see there on the IBC because we don't have anything attached on the front. It shows red. It's pretty cool stuff. I just realized I don't need the whirly lights because we're not... Uh, carrying anything or hauling anything. I don't know why I always want to go to the right when I come into town, but we won't go there, but I just, I always want to. I want to. Okay, so we'll stop here and we need to look and see. Uh, pallets. Uh, oh, look at all this. The chrome bale nut stuff. Herbicide tank, fertilizer tank. These are too big for the vehicles to lift. <laughs> Who's that for? Bale twine. So just get this. There we go. Get two of those, and we need a company forklift. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually, let's see, how much are the forklifts? I'm going to buy one right now, and I'll reimburse myself because this belongs to the shop. 37000 Oh, man, it's going to be with nothing, but okay. We need to be able to have this here, so... Which reminds me, that means we can... Sell well. Will you finish the using the bag lifter? But I'm going to sell the bag lifter. So obviously, that did not work out right. Maybe I'm going to think about that. We'll see. <laughs> Donk. Okay, uh, uh, yeah, there we go. Can I fit a second one in there? No, of course not. Does that make too much sense for this to be able to carry two of these? Yeah. 
yeah, yeah, yeah. Which means we also need to do this. I'm going to have to really quickly refill my funds. Um, and that. Nope. That. Yep. We're going to need that for our tractor. So once again, this was $37,000. So I'm going to, once we're done with this video, I'll fix that in. But... Hi, sweetie. Ow. My face. Don't hurt to my face. How much? What does that mean? Like you overdrew your account? Oh, yeah, it's fine. Whatever. You being smart, Alec? Yes. Facetious? Yeah. Sure. That is so safe right there. That would never fall off. Okay, so... So this belongs to the sh shop. Yep. And... Yeah, let's strap those down, because that's probably going to be safer. Is there a middle strap? No? Okay. Special delivery. Very special delivery. You know what? I didn't do too bad. That's not too bad. It's a little bit hokey, but... That should last us a little while. I don't, that field's only going to take a little bit of fertilizer from that, so. Off we go back to the farm, and so I will catch you when I get there. All right, we're arriving at the field. Our worker's doing a good job. It looks like we do have rain in the forecast, so we got to watch that. And we also need to watch for weeds, I think. Did I turn weeding off? I think I, I, think I might have turned weeding off, which means I didn't necessarily need to buy herbicide uh, but we'll turn it back on again because I don't mind doing the weeds though now that I think about it we maybe we need to keep them yeah they're on okay. at some point when we start to do the multiplayer I may have to turn crop weathering off but we'll see So there's our new awesome 150 horsepower Ridge Track at work. It cost us every cent we had, but it was dang worth it. And while he's doing that, we're going to scooch in here. I'm going to go ahead and get started with this. Ooh, this has got a pretty wide spread. I've been playing on 17. Nah, not that wide. But still, wide enough. Wide enough for me.
Look how pretty this is. What a pretty farm. I do. I just love this map. Oh, I know. I could go on about it forever. And I probably will. Oh, I like a rolling her eyes, I'm sure. Oh, I just drove right through the fence. That's realistic. here. Yeah, I'm glad we got that. That is just really a huge cedar. In fact, I might buy a weight for the tractor. I'm probably going to need a weight anyway for when I do the front motor stuff, so I'm going to get a weight for that. Love that ridge track. What a nice track there. It's funny, and I was saying this on my review video. I wonder why they named the company Ridge Track if the tractors are flexible. They should have called them Flexitrack. Maybe that was already taken. There was a train returning from Frelsburn. With the cool Ridge Track tractor doing its work. Well, that was an interesting way to do it. <laughs> what? Yeah, it needs a weight. Did you see the tractor when he when he stopped turning? It like slid off the ground. That's a sure sign that it needs a weight on the back. Cool, cool stuff. Only in Switzerland. You know, these tractors are funny, though. They really have long, and they all are like that. They have really long noses, and then, like, it just, like, abruptly ends, I think. I feel like. Whereas other tractors have a little bit more of a butt. This one has, like, nothing. See how this one has more of, like, a, a, hind, a butt on it? That's a butt end there. <laughs> all right. Helper C has finished his task. So the field next door, we're going to plant with soybeans since we've already done canola. And we're going to move over here. And this thing's okay. It doesn't need a wash yet. It will eventually, but a lot of seed left. That's good. Didn't use that much. There we go. Uh, I have a feeling I need something else for this, but let's go ahead and we're going to finish up the fertilization with this guy. We'll run into town and with the ridge track and get the arms and a weight. And then we'll uh, get those the fertil the liquid fertilizer and our weeder uh, unloaded from the from the shop. Or from the truck I mean. I need to move these because the, the the stuff is going to go where these are parked. So. so we'll pull these out of the 
way. All right. So let's go ahead and grab the Ridge Track, head over to the shop. I'll be right back. I'm gonna go, I'll go get that stuff, and I will see you guys in a moment. All right. We've arrived at the shop. I'm going to get our forklift. Good long. But it looks like it's the right size. And then this guy. And we need to pick out a weight. Let's go... 1600 should be fine. Pick a complementary color. <laughs> I don't know if they make blue weights like that, but it looks kind of cool. Because that was realistic. Alright, so I'm going to head back to the farm. <laughs> There's a lot of back and forth in this episode. In this episode, by the way, we verified because we harvested that, or I guess the first episode really, we harvested the sunflower and we didn't need to plow. I'm always looking for the four crops that you have to be plowed. I can never remember them. I know it's sugar beets, potatoes, corn, and sugar cane, maybe? It's not sunflowers. I thought it was sunflower, but it's not. The sunflower did not require us to plow, so... But anyway, there's the magic four. Are you singing the La Bamba song? Ba la 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 bamba. Yariba yariba. Do 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 do. This turk. Uh, this tractor has such a this turkle. This tractor has such a nice turn circle. Is what I was trying to say. This turkle is a turkle turkle turkle. Yeah. There we go. And so does this truck. I love the the all wheel steering. That put those down. And uh, grab that and that. Oh, perfect. And that is a feat of whoops, modern miracles. Feet of science. I don't know. I don't know what that was a feat of, but it was amazing. One thing they haven't fixed <laughs> is the physics. Maybe someday we'll get a new engine from Giants, but honestly, I've played a lot of farming games. This game does have pretty much the best physics of all of them. That's not saying a lot, but it is. A, it actually is better than a vast majority of the other farm games that I've played, so it must be difficult to get these things right because nobody seems to be able to do it, um, really, any game that I've played. The physics are always wonky with this kind of stuff. It's, this one's actually not that bad. It's not great, but it's definitely not. It could be worse. Um, so that's our herbicide. And so we're done with that. So this tractor can put these here. Put that right there. Can we turn these off like that? Again, that nice tight turn circle because of the all-wheel steering makes it pretty easy to organize stuff. And 
I'm just going to pop that right here. Boop. So that's all done. So we have gotten this field prepped, ready for the next stage. It looks like it's going to rain this afternoon. According to the weather report, you can see the sky is looking pretty pregnant with water. Move this out of the way. Now we've got one more chore to do before we leave. And that is to put this tractor back. Ta-da! So we'll be fertilizing or weeding next, depending on what happens. All right. And so let's go ahead and head back to the main farm. And that'll be it. Ladies and gentlemen, hopefully you enjoyed this episode. We got the field prepped and planted. Prepped. We tried out the bag lifter. It wasn't a big success, so we're just going to go back to forklifts. Uh, we uh, then planted and fertilized our field one stage, bought a new tractor, bought another field, uh, bought a forklift for the shop. So we got a lot done today. I will be, once again, reimbursing myself for the $37,000 for that forklift because the shop needs to own that, honestly. Um, so, but I'm gonna head back home. So anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video as we putzed around Switzerland and uh, I really have been having fun on this map. Have a great night, guys. Be sure to subscribe. Thumbs up always help. And my wife is punching me for some reason. We'll see you next time. I might get some work done uh, off camera. I'm gonna probably mow the fields uh, behind the house and make uh, more bales so that's not gonna be real super exciting but maybe i'll have you guys and eh, you know i'll wait i'll wait for you guys for that so anyway see you guys next time bye